Let's come back to the city of Lagos uh, and take a look at uh, the developmental aspect uh, of the game. Well, I've got um, two guests in the studio. We'll be taking a look at them um, happenings in Lagos State as far as football is concerned. To my right, I have Honorable Adeda Mola Richard Kasumu, who is the Deputy Majority Leader of Lagos State House of Assembly. It's nice to have you on the program spot. Yeah. Yes. All right. I also have um, Idogun to my left. Um, he's um, a FIFA intermediary um, based in Portugal, but then in the center of excellence, the aquatic state indeed, uh, to take a look at um, talents. It's nice to have you on the program, Sports Desk. Thank you for having me. Well, let me start um, with you, Honorable the Damola. Let's um, take a look at um, football development in Lagos State. We understand that there is something you're putting together to engage the youths as far as football is concerned. Can you shed more light on this? Okay. Um... Football, thank you very much, um, my dear brother. And uh, let me start by saying that football has always been a very inherent part of Lagos State as it is. Uh, I can say that uh, a lot of youths among uh, us in the state engage in football, whether it is street football to professional football to what have you. There is that interest. There has always been that interest. And of course, to this end, the state government found it worthy to encourage sports development uh, over the years. I can say this for a fact because I was uh, in 2015, when I got elected into the House of Assembly, I, I became the chairman of the House Committee on Youth Sports and Social Development. And one of the major key components of that committee was to make sure that we found a way to increase the sporting activities within the state. And in 2017, I went ahead to sponsor two executive member bills. Uh, one was the state, Lagos State Sports Commission Law and the Lagos State Sports Trust Fund Law, both with the keen objectives of developing sports Across, across board in the state, uh, making sure that we create talents, you know, we, we find a route for talents, we use private and public uh, corporations, companies, uh, entities to raise funds for the development of sports in Lagos State generally. So it has always been an inherent part of my own um, youth development programs. If, if, I'm, if I must say. So the idea is always discover, develop, and of course, empower to make sure that uh, the sky is always the beginning. And of course, I, I, I wouldn't say I limit it to sports, however, because I'm a very, very uh, uh, great- Limited to football. Yes, it's not limited to football. I'm a very- awesome great advocate of alternative sports as well. Chess? Or, yes, that. chess. In fact, um, just sometime last year or two years ago, I organized a, a, a three-day sports that? clinic, you know, for the development of sports in, in Lagos State, alternative sports, however. A um, few years before that, I had done programs that had to do with the eight ball legend uh, <laughs> snooker competition, where various prices were won. Even uh, the winner even went home with uh, with a snooker board, who she, who, uh, which was interestingly a, a lady. A lady. And she, Massive. She, yes, and she turned it into a commercial entity for herself, mm. her, whereby boys who around the around, area young boys, would you yeah. know come yeah. around, you know, pay a token to play. You know, is it five hundred? Is it you know one thousand? Just to gain some level of uh, okay. funds for herself. So really and truly, sports development naturally has its place in Lagos State. Now, let's talk about the open trials and screening that is ongoing. Um, is there any age limit towards this? And um, what are the partnerships involved? We understand that FIFA licensed agents are also in Nigeria to take a look at them, some of the good legs. Well, for now, it's uh, between the ages of 16 to 21. And it's, it's going to be going on from, of course, it started on the 16th of June, to the early days of um, July as well. Then from there, we develop the other talents, however talents we can find. And mostly started, it mostly started in Ikeja. Number one, because, well, I represent the good people of Ikeja Constituency too. Okay. 
I'm also the deputy majority leader of the House, as you have said. So m my job is in two folds. I, I have to make sure that I promote, uh, you know, the youths I engaged. I, I engaged within my constituency. And of course, with the recent uh, additional um, title, I must make sure that I stretch across, beyond across board. And, and, and go across board. So the idea is to widen the scope and make sure that youths in general are engaged on different levels. I mean, you can imagine engaging uh, those amount of youths that we saw there today, earlier on today, for a stretch of massive. two months. It's a, and it was, it's been a massive turnout. And it's been a situation where you would be able to guard them from and refrain them from uh, getting engaged in unnecessary activities like truancy and drug dealing and all of that. So it's a win-win situation for, for, for us generally in Lagos State, as far as the youth are concerned. Well, interesting. Um, I, oh, I've always had this opinion that... Um, We've got into a stage, you know, in the country where indeed um, administrators, um, parents also um, need to appeal to their children to take part in one sporting event or the other. Well, that brings me to Edogun, um, who is a FIFA licensed agent. Um, let's take a look at the, the talents you've seen so far in the city of Lagos. And um, uh, what do you make of um, the open trial and screening events so far? Thank you. First of all, thank you so much for this opportunity, TVC News and Honorable Kasum. Um, at JNI Sports Group, we believe sports can change lives. This is the sole dedication behind our inspiration and aspiration, you know, to bring these, this kind of initiative to Lagos State, Nigeria. We came up with this open trial concept so as to advertise accessibility in football to, towards the youth. We want footballers to understand that there's a route towards making it in football. We want footballers to understand that there's a bridge between potential and opportunity. I want footballers to know that with J and I Sports Group, they can be assured of a great future in terms of like the development as professionals and as adults, of course. You know, so coming to Lagos, we have seen, you know, vast amount of talent, you know. We've seen People who are talented in technicality, physicality, you know, we've seen speed, of course, you know, and it's been very, it's been a very favorable experience so far. And, you know, but the main thing we have to do right now is understand the, is understand the capacity of these players. We want to know that, want to know that these players are actually ready to go and further their talents abroad, okay. and further their talents in Europe, for example. Uh, if I will interject, what does it take when you spot talents like this? Um, um, the Englishman says talent usually is not enough. But as FIFA intermediaries, um, how challenging could it be when um, footballers are talented and they're not disciplined enough? Um, how do you work this out? Of course, there's so many things we have to consider as agents. Talent is literally the number one thing we have to see because talent is what we see with the visuals however there's so many aspects in football we talk of confidence we talk of mentality of players we talk of you know technicality of players it's not only talent we also talk about hard work you know there's so many players right now that they've gotten to where they are they've gotten beyond beyond where their potential lied because of hard work alone so we want these players to also be disciplined we also want these players to be talented and we're not only looking for talented players, we're looking for the full package of players because we want players that are Europe ready. Europe ready. Well, uh, we just spoke with um, Peter IJ, and um, I know um, for a fact that um, Peter IJ was one of the many talents, you know, discovered, you know, here in Lagos. Um, going by the name, um, he's not a Lagosian, but then played in Ajegunle, played at the Maracana, played for clubs in Lagos State. Uh, before he journeyed, you know, abroad. And um, taking a look at um, the challenges involved, uh, it's always said that um, talented people can be very difficult to handle, most especially when they are youths and um, they are seen up there. Uh, what's your advice, you know, to some of these young lads that um, will be getting an opportunity from this open trial? 
Well, let me first of all start from the likes of Victor Osime. He's a product of Ikeja. He plays in Napoli. Okay. He's, he's a good product. And of course, he got there with displaying enough determination, tenacity, focus, drive, and of course, the ability to, to just um, succeed and sustain that level of discipline when it comes to sporting activities. So taking a leap from the, his life, however, life throughout his uh, football career, one would just advise the young lads coming up now that with enough patience, with enough uh, tact, with enough uh, discipline, you can actually achieve whatever you choose to be. That's one thing that my late mother used to tell me, Chief Mrs. Abiodun Asumo. She says, you can decide, you can choose to be whatever you want to be. If you want to succeed, stand up. If you want to, be, if you want to be, succeed, speak up to be appreciated. And those are the things that we're looking for. We have asked them for, to, to speak up. We have asked them to come and identify with us. Myself and my good, very good brother, OJ, um, with the initiative, I, I, I can't continue to say thank you. Uh, it will be so endless because you've done so well in the last, in the last few days and uh, it's quite encouraging. And I can assure you that the group of boys that I spoke to earlier on today are boys who are determined to make something out of it for themselves. Mm. And they, they will do the best they can to achieve greater results. And of course, be a good ambassador of Nigeria, Nigeria even when they get out there. I, I can definitely say that you are very sure that scouting for talents is not going to go in vain because you will definitely find one. And I'm hoping and praying that you'll find one in the Keja <laughs> so that um, we can get to sponsor the likes of them out of the country. And, of course, um, they'll have their success story to show for it when the time comes. Well, I, I think it, it is not, it is not um, a bad idea when you talk about your constituency, which is a Keja, you know, at this junction. Um, knowing fully well that, yes, the dream is to see people from a Keja, you know, get to the zenith of their career as sports and um, every other aspect. You made mention of Victor Osime. And um, in the next couple of years, some will be hoping that um, some talents discovered here will be saying, well, it was true, um, Honorable Richard Kasumu, that then we had this opportunity. How will this make you feel years, you know, to come? When you look back and take a look at um, some of this um, groundwork that you've put together, or foundation. Well, I won't be the first person to actually do something like that. Let's not forget, the president of this country now, Ashwajibal Ahmed Tinubu, is an Ikeja product. And he got to his zenith through hard work, commitment, and he has, he has all of this uh, to show for it. And of course, he built, he built leaders, not just persons, out there and say, oh, we started from this Lagos uh, trial to J9, um, and of course, we, we are at the zenith of our career because so, 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 and so made this happen. I know I might not take the credit necessarily, but... As long as there's commitment, there's passion, there's dedication, you would show out there that you are from a good pedigree by your success story, and that is what matters to me. Well, I will be coming back to you. You made a point, you know, um, talking about the president, Ashwaj Bolak Metunubu, and how he has invested in people like you. Like they say, um, you may decide to invest in bonds, invest in shares, or whatsoever, but then... It's never debatable that um, the best form of investment is investing in people. We're coming back to that, investing in people. But let's um, indeed um, take a look at um, the next phase. Um, I'm sure some of the talents discovered, if they are watching, um, as little as 16, 17, 18, some may not have um, that courage to come to you and say, hey, a FIFA intermediary is based in Portugal. What's the next phase for us? But taking a look at the program, talent discovered, what's the next line? Okay, the next line would be after those, these open trials to take these players to the national stadium in Surulere where we'll have a whole media team in order to like video and 
proper like make highlights reels of these players okay. to see whether you know to see how these players can transition their games and you know we're working with a wide range of like you know scouts across Europe we're working with some ex nationals of course we've got coach um, Charles Ikogo we've got Victor Ozoho I'm working with my partners in Portugal Project Europa and we're looking for opportunities for these players endlessly but however I must mention that the, the the main thing, it depends on the player's mm. dedications, very, very much, dedication, right. you know, talent, you can't hard work, you have. mentality, confidence, and you know, I can't assure a player that doesn't have these these traits of a future in football. However, what I can assure the people of Lagos and Nigeria is that, as far as you possess these talents and these traits, you know, would work and would work endlessly and tire tirelessly to assure these athletes of a bright future in the world of sports.